Six arrested as rebels throw petrol bombs at cops. Offices in Londonderry were attacked by a crowd following a dissident Republican Easter march that was related to the mob's reckless behavior. To mark that National Republican Memorial, PSNI Land Rovers set fire to themselves before trying to flee from outside the graveyard. After police arrived to make arrests, there was an outbreak of violence. Terrorism Act detentions were made against five individuals aged 29, 38, 40, 50, and 54. On top of that, a 40-year-old male suspect was taken into custody for allegedly engaging in disruptive conduct. A number of cars, suspected terrorist clothing, and petrol bombs were also recovered. This week's procession commemorating the three-year anniversary of Lyra McKee's death was criticized by her sister on Monday night. Those who perpetrated this were merchants of misery, Bishop Donal McEwen stated. As soon as it was deemed necessary, police began gathering evidence and making arrests after carefully monitoring the incident. Ms McKee's three-year anniversary of her death was the reason for protests, but crowds came to mark the occasion throughout the city. The march left Free Dairy Corner about 3 p.m. and arrived at the city cemetery just after 3.30 p.m. to lay wreaths on the Republican grave. At least 2,000 individuals are estimated to have attended the procession, which included both marchers and spectators. The participants in the procession donned all black outfits and masks that covered their faces all the way to their eyes. Several people wore flags, including the tricolor and the Ulster flag, as well as others. Sayora, commonly believed to be the political section of the new IRA, had warned that the commemoration may lead to violence. Bishop McEwen denounced petrol bombs thrown from cemetery grounds. This march is an insult to basic decency, SDLP board member Dolores Kelly remarked of the protests. Regressive and nasty, Ryan McCready, UUP candidate for election, characterized the situation.